Hello YouTube land. Thank you for tuning in to One Pinoy Chick Chat. The goats will be able to graze like maybe three hours today. Where we let them out at two o'clock. Normally they would um, finish at four twenty, and um, yeah, it's um, three. I think around three now. So they still have more than an hour to go to graze in this grassland over here. Still a lot of. Um, Lots are getting cleared off. Yeah, uh, cleared off by the new lot owners. So hopefully, I uh, will still be left. Yes, at least this area, this area that um, near us uh, has still no owners because this is the uh, prime lots and more expensive than those that are far from our farm. Yeah. So today or yesterday was uh, the birthday, the third month birthday of Tony and Martin, the youngest of uh, of Goliath from the first batch of kids. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah, so I'll be showing their weight later. And um, I want to make, I want to share my assessment with um, the mamas, my weights monitoring for Goliath's kids comparing to other kids like uh, those from Samson, from Brown, uh, Billy, yeah. So like, just to see how Goliath went for this batch of kids because they are most likely the same mamas that were here. And um, the thing is, now that we have um, rehomed Lottie and Isa, it will be a different scenario again next time because right now we have two new mamas uh, pre two new pregnant uh, young mamas that's Jane and Molly I'm still looking at the uh, rehoming Molly because I want to retain three because, like as you can see every day there's progress on the land clearing here but um, I don't know if they will be able to maintain like the early days of um, you know like when they when the neighbor sold this uh, lots to the real estate company like everybody was so excited because they got a cheap, very cheap uh, uh, land piece of land and like later it turned out to be just like um, an abandoned lot but now like people have um, oh I see eagles people have cleared their lots yes so maybe maybe not let's see how they can it's not uh, really cheap to build houses guys like right now they don't even have the road to transport materials for when they build and um, also materials nowadays as you know since pandemic you know the inflation rate has like really soared so high like um, I remember when I was still working with um, BCAs the benefit cost analysis for some company projects I would just like the highest I think um, inflation rate that I used was 2.1 <laughs> yeah and that was my last uh, year in the company like I started at 1.25 inflation rate and um, just before I left uh, I used 2.1 when was that 2004 or oh, 2004 <laughs> long time ago and now the inflation rate is like eh, whenever I look at the uh, TV the news on TV is like huh seriously so like I was saying I will be sharing my assessment my analysis kind of for all my goals like because I do monitor them here through their weights up to um, they up to when they reach the third month birthday yeah so like um, initially um, with Lottie I'm so happy with the performance of Lottie here before I rehome her so I was kind of um, I feel I felt proud when I sold her, rehomed her to the mayor's farm, because I know she's really doing great, and um, I gave her some supplements just before she left because she's already pregnant. Also, um, Isa, she's already pregnant, and as you know, Isa had great kids here, like except for these two, which I will be like the weights I will still get for on the fourth month because they got sick on the third month because of the weather. Let's see about that. Stay tuned. Peggy, oh, you know I have a friend in Facebook. Her name is Molly. She's in 
smaller as you. Oh, when you come to the house, not just by the window like you do. Wake me up in the morning with a uh, knock knock on my window. Wanna go to daddy? Up on his back? Or dad in the mower? You go! Go, Peggy! Go! Let's start with Loti, the oldest. Well, she got her heaviest kid from Goliath, even if it's her third set of triplets. Next up is Melly. Melly is the lightest kid out of all the uh, girls that are retained in the farm, and she got the record of having the heaviest girl, heaviest girl at three months, and that's Daisy. Next is Isa, who's always been heavy since a kid. And she gave us the heaviest kid at uh, three months old, that is Rocky. And I'm just hoping that um, little Cinnamon will be able to cope up and uh, recuperate on her fourth month. As right now, she's the lightest among Goliath's kids. Next is Rico. And uh, this time, guys, Rico's kids are far heavier than the last time which is really good with Goliath as the father woohoo in 2022 we got 20 kids from Samson that is a total for three seasons in 2023 our first season kidding season was from bruno the stud the hired stud and we got the record holder from that that was rocky from isa we only got 10 kids from bruno then for the second kidding season we also have 10 and that is from goliath it's the first batch of goliath in the farm and uh, he's still up to his second batch which we are expecting on the end of second quarter of this year comparing all the weights from different studs goliath wins <laughs> <laughs>